state has been asked to protect a nine-year-old who is the only witness in the murder of her mother allegedly by her father and elsewhere the author of a feasibility study in the eight million shilling graft case against former busia governor sospita ojamong has been summoned to clarify the variations in versions of the document possessed by the prosecution as well as the defense Serafina robi opens our coverage with that article in the corridors of justice Family members of Susan Waruiru, who was allegedly murdered by her husband in Githiga in Kiambu County, are now calling upon Witness Protection Agency to protect the deceased nine-year-old daughter, who is said to be the only witness in the murder of her mother. Speaking at Kiambu Law Court, the family said Waruiru's husband was arrested as a suspect in the murder and that after the burial, his family took custody of their daughter. They now suspect the accused family could influence the child's testimony. And the accused person is her father. We feel that uh, the child is continuous stay with the parents of the accused person, the witness, she's not guaranteed to give a credible witness as she will be compromised. They can be placed under witness protection agency and now we will be seeking that and the government to protect this particular child so that she will not be exposed. She was the only person who was at the scene of, scene of crime at the time uh, the murder happened. Meanwhile, the prosecution in former Busia Governor Sospita Ojamong's 8 million shilling fraud case now wants the anti-corruption court to summon the author of a document from the government printers due to varying information in the document they have from that possessed by the defense team. The document was produced by one of the witnesses from the defense team in the case where Ojamong and five others have been charged with the loss of 8 million shillings from the Busia County coffers on a solid waste management feasibility study project. How is a court supposed to do this? The short answer is by considering the document, the evidence in chief in support of the document, the cross exam on the document, and the corroborative value evidences produced in support of that document. Anti-corruption magistrate Douglas Ogoti is to give directions on the document in question on Wednesday on the 24th of August. Abdelkhair Mohamed, for Prime Edition.